In this paper, we consider a retailer that sells products that frequently go out of stock, like, for instance, a bakery. Retail transaction data are readily available, so we'd like to use them to estimate the demand for each item. The simplest approach would be to measure demand by simply counting purchases, but things become more complicated when an item goes out of stock. When the item the customer wants is out of stock, there are two things that can happen. The first is that the customer might substitute a different item for the one that's out of stock. Substitution inflates the number of purchases of the replacement item above its initial demand. The second thing that can happen is that a customer chooses not to substitute, but rather leaves without making any purchase. This makes demand estimation tricky because these customers don't show up in the sales transactions at all, they're completely unobserved. In the paper, we develop a model that allows us to infer demand from retail transaction data while taking into account the substitutions and unobserved no purchases that are caused by stockouts. There are two main components to the model. The first component is a model for customer arrivals. In our data from a bakery at MIT, there was a surge at lunchtime with additional spikes between classes. We use a non-homogeneous Poisson process as the arrival model, which is able to handle the variable rate. The second component is a model of customer choice, which has parameters that describe the probability of substitution, as well as how the demand is split across the remaining substitutes. Inference of the rate function in the choice model is fully Bayesian, using a stochastic gradient MCMC that's able to scale to large transaction databases. Once inferred, the model allows us to identify the true primary demand and to identify how much money we're losing due to stockouts and make better stocking decisions.